You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife. Worldwide. Privacy. Film. Yes. Sounds of distress, panic and alarm ring out around the world. From the streets of New York, to Portsmouth, to Jakarta, to Oslo, to Pretoria, to Melbourne, to Bangkok, to St. Petersburg. All around the world, people greet the news that there's going to be a worldwide privacy feature-length film involving Harry and Harry's wife with that level of distress and panic. Christ, not yet more of this shite, said Tom Jones in Pontypridd. Oh my goodness me, do we have to endure more of this self-indulgent manure? Commented Barry Big Balls of Bangor. Those quotes and others like them echoed around the world as a consequence of the report that has emerged, courtesy of Jessica Gibb in the Mirror, that Harry's wife and Prince Harry planning feature-length movie on royal life for Netflix. Yes, we're being treated to another snooze fest from Harry and Harry's wife telling us all about their lives, as if we didn't know what it was like already. I mean, is it the case, for instance, that Tracy Matthews from Stourbridge is going to bring out a shit flick series, Life at Curl Up and Die Hairdressers? Or perhaps we can look forward to Klaus Schneider from Dusseldorf telling us accountancy life, it doesn't add up. Or maybe we're going to hear from Pierre Dupont from La Rochelle, Kneading the Dough, A Baker's Story. Or perhaps Bruce Williams from Alice Springs with You and Me. A sheep shearing odyssey. Now, of course, those individuals aren't famous. But at the end of the day, their lives aren't that much different from that of Harry and Harry's wife. Namely, they get up, they use the bathroom, they make breakfast and they go and do something. Indeed, those people's lives are probably actually more interesting than those of Harry and Harry's wife. Because it doesn't involve lashings of victimhood and whinging and whining. Yet, of course, the self-obsessed Duchess of Overseas believes that we want to know all of the ins and outs of her time within the royal family. Short as it was, blink and you'll miss it. In fact, how can there be anything more that she's got to tell us? Well, according to the Mirror, Harry's wife and Prince Harry are reportedly planning a new feature-length film on what goes on inside the palace. Sense of entitlement, breach of confidence. The couple are said to be in talks with Shitflix to produce a new movie on their royal lives with a focus on their experience of living inside the palace. Their new venture was reportedly inspired after Netflix revealed it's creating a feature film about Prince Andrew's infamous BBC interview with journalist Emily Maitlis. The streaming giant's film, titled Scoop, will star Rufus Sewell as the Duke of York and Gillian Anderson as Emily, while Billy Piper and Keeley Hawes are also part of the cast. I honestly can't see the point of that. Why on earth are you going to make a movie about an interview that we've already seen? Hmm. A source says Harry's wife and Harry plan to wait and see what the reception to this new film is like first, but think they have a big screen story to tell about what happened in the palace. Well, of Of course she will do, because when viewed through the lens of Harry's wife, she believes that everything that she does is fascinating, unique, and pioneering. She had a cinnamon bagel for breakfast. She visited the bathroom and spent half an hour looking at her nose in the mirror. The Duchess opened a door 
and closed another one. <laughs> wow, what a trailer that will be. Apparently, there are a lot of nuances from their story that they feel are still missing after the documentary in Harry's book, a source tells the Closer magazine. Well, she's bound to feel like that, i.e. there's lots of bollocks that I need to tell you, although, of course, she doesn't see it that way. But what more are they going to add? Whinge, whinge, whine, whine. We weren't treated very well. The royal family are racist. William's a nasty bully who beat me up and caused me to fall onto the dog bowl so it broke and he, he broke my necklace. I mean, seriously. What more is there actually to tell? Oh, this footman had a funny habit of occasionally burping. Ho, 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 ho. Well, at least it'd be more amusing than any of the usual claptrap that Harry's wife spouts. Quite simply, it would just be more of the same. They haven't got any major revelations to come out with. And even when she lies, they're not that interesting lies at the end of the day, because she's pretty unimaginative. And furthermore, she can't even provide a humorous account of living at the palace that might actually be quite interesting. Perhaps some self-effacing humour. She can't do self-effacement because she's a narcissist, and she can't do humour because the style of narcissist that she is means that she hasn't got one. Unlike your glorious narrator, who has an excellent sense of humour which is used as a weapon, she doesn't have one. She can't. She doesn't understand humour. She doesn't have the intellectual capacity to understand it in the way that I do. And so what we get are these extremely boring recollections, which she thinks are hilarious anecdotes, whilst everybody else sits there and perhaps politely laughs. The article continues by telling us, the source says the couple were obviously happy with their paycheck from Netflix for the documentary and are keen to work with the streaming giant again, i.e. we need money. The source claims Netflix are not interested in documentaries or children's TV shows from the couple, quite basically because they know that they would be absolutely beige beyond belief and would cause somebody who'd snorted three grams of coke to fall asleep but they want more juicy stuff about their royal lives i actually don't think there is any juicy stuff to come out it's all been stated harry's took whinged and whined through wah and harry's wife of course she misses a lot of what goes on because she's just so caught up in looking in the mirror and thinking that she's beautiful and wonderful the source added, there's no doubt they would get a handsome payday for it, which is hugely tempting. Harry's wife is really pushing for it to happen, while Harry wants to tread more carefully. But they are entertaining the idea, and their team are talking about the kind of money they would want for the rights to their story. This comes after the Duke and Duchess released a statement last week saying they were involved in a near-catastrophic car chase, blah, 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 filler, filler, filler. Then it mentions about their fifth wedding anniversary, blah, 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 filler, filler, filler. So it would appear that they're looking to create a feature-length film which will be boring and just essentially full of lies. Quick dive below the line to see what people's reaction is to this. Ranza 1, not worth watching, as it will all be lies. Kaya 68, oh please, not again. They should better film their privacy tour. They would definitely be more fun. Otherwise, wah. Simchuk, let's leave the family so we can have a private life for our children. No, we love money and love upsetting our families, so let's do a movie. Horrible pair of attention seekers who tell so many lies it might end up being another carry-on movie. Liner 64, surely it is now time to remove their Duke and Duchess titles. Bammers, this is all they can do, take bops at the royal family. Gives you a flavour for the way that people's minds are going. Nobody wants this. Other than Harry and Harry's wife and a rump of idiotic sugars, everybody else has had their fill of the nonsense, and it'll be a letdown. It won't be juicy, it won't tell you anything new, and it'll just come out with more whinging and whining and self-obsessed lies. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening. <laughs>